Uh, namaste, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, like I said in my last video, one thing you really want to do with your decks is play them and, and see if something's just sitting in your hand. It's probably not doing you much good that way. And I saw that, and I made a few changes. Uh, one note, I hadn't played the Mountain Goat much. Great card. Uh, just like any, I haven't mentioned this yet, but I'll probably end up saying it a million times before I'm through. Any for the rest of the round card, unless you absolutely need it to win a round that is absolutely crucial, play it on the first turn of the next round. It's, it's, it adds so much value to the card. If you really want to be a good player, you got to be constantly thinking, how much value am I getting out of this card? How can I get more value out of this card? Um, so I don't think I have anything else for this round in the deck, but any anything at all that says for this round needs to be played on the first turn of the round or held, unless it's just going to be the difference maker, which is a very rare situation. Um... I did make some changes from the original deck, like I originally anticipated. I wasn't losing enough rounds mm -hmm. against uh, tight uh, against people and bots to justify red diamond or titanium. I know that a lot of people don't really want to play against bots but sometimes nobody's you know you're just not getting any notifications to play people and and if you want to get those top tier rewards you're going to have to be grinding all week long um a lot of the reason i'm not in gold one and diamond is just i haven't had the time to grind all week long let's see what other changes have i made um so titanium got dropped i did not realize gridiron football was a ppt card and actually a very good one uh with this deck i really like to go with the if you win the turn rather than if you lose the turn this may go against conventional knowledge with the ppt decks a lot of like i said a lot of people because you lose the early rounds but i'm finding uh it's easier to win the early rounds when you when you've got some just some beaters some big swingers to help you out uh, Atlantis, at first I didn't think it was one of the better Mythics, but it's actually great. Especially on a high energy week like this, it comes in early uh, for good value. And then and, uh, with this deck, I find I can get burnout. I'm running a little low on energy by the end of the round. So having a... Uh, Having a 90 swing for two on round three and round five is really, really great for this deck. What else did I switch out? I wasn't sure about the Hand of God, but it's just pretty much essential in this PPT deck. Uh, playing the Hand of God one turn, and then Pacific Walrus, Gridiron Football, or the Golden Hin next turn pretty much is guaranteeing that you're going to win that turn. Unless you're playing against a, a hard, hardcore deck. Um, Paleo and Astros is probably the only one that's going to outpace you on, in that situation. Uh, Anglerfish, if you have it, it was a great buy. Uh, I'm a big proponent of spend your, your gems. If you don't have a big account, spend your gems on, on playable cards and get your other limiteds through Savvy Trading. Uh, so the gems on, on a guaranteed limited rare or epic that, that looks really playable. And I'm going to start trying to do videos on when they do these and, and tell you how playable it is and if it's worth your gems or not. Let's see. I don't think I made any more changes to the deck since the last video other than the anglerfish, the walrus, gridiron football. Oh, eggnog. I put eggnog in here. It's pretty powerful normally but right now eggnog is actually glitched so it's going to give that plus 50 power and that minus 20 power to the same card in your hand uh so it's essentially just giving one random card 
uh, an extra 30 power, which is pretty, pretty good. So that's the changes I've made. Uh, sorry about the notification, uh, from a friend. I usually, usually throw that on do not disturb, but I missed it this time. So let's play a quick match with the, uh, new deck. I doubt I'll get a person. It's, it doesn't seem to be the most popular playtime right now. I haven't gotten a notification for a league game in a while, but bots are great for showing you guys what's going on. Bots are great for uh, discussing strategy with you guys against without me having to worry too much about actually winning the match. Judy Jetson. Judy Jetson's a bot. Uh, I don't know if the bots change decks every time. The last few times I played Judy Jetson, she was trying to energy burn me really hard. So let's see if that's how it happens or if bots change up. We'll see. Early with your PPT, you want to win when you can. Uh, like, I've got the Pacific Walrus in my hand. Not a great first draw. Not happy about it. So I need to just start building building up my PPT. The Sinterklaas, like I said, anything on the draw, you want to play it as soon as you can. If it's not going to be the difference maker in you winning or losing a round, play it the turn you draw it because... You want it back in your deck so you can get that benefit again. Now I'm holding Gridiron and Pacific Walrus. I'm going to keep building up my turns. I don't normally, like I said earlier, I don't... I'm not a proponent of using things that are for the rest of the round. On a turn that's not the first turn. But the second turn's not bad. And it's definitely going to still give me a plus 40 on this next turn. Which isn't terrible. Which can help me, even if I lose the round, get the Pacific Walrus and the Gridiron Football off for the next round. Coming really strong to round two. Which is, is helpful with the PPT deck. So Atlantis was a good draw. I'm going to play that to try to win the turn. Like I said, with this turn, it'd be great if I won the round. Uh, I'm really just looking to win the turn. And I won the turn by one point, which is excellent. So I'm going to lose the round. I kind of saw that coming from the first play. Uh, my Atlantis is going to be mad cheap for the rest of the game. I get my bonus from both Gridiron Football and the Pacific Walrus, and I'm coming into round two really, really strong. The Anglerfish, play it that round. Uh, you want to get it played. You want to get it played. If you have to wait till next round, sometimes you have to do it, but it loses the bonus. Burning a card in their hand anyways. The eggnog, like I said, any on-draw card, you want to get it back in the mix. You want to get it back in the mix quick. I could go diamonds, but the sun's going to... The earlier you play a card like the sun, because you, you have to think energy for a round. So when you play a card that's 10 for 30 like the sun. So 30 is very bad for 10. 30 power for 10 is very bad. But the earlier you play the sun, the more value you get, because after five turns, the sun pays for itself. Start thinking of things in terms of almost like an energy bank. Uh, how much energy did you put in? Is a card going to cost you less energy in the end and really help you in those late rounds? Golden Hen's a great play with Unicorn. Um, Diamonds is probably just my best PPT card to keep ramping. Uh, I might not win the round. Oh, the... Mm. That, that, that hurts a little bit, but I'm still going to win the round. Sorry, I meant the turn. I'm definitely going to win the round. I'm not worried about the round at all, actually. Especially with the seppuku that he just drew. Center claws, put him back in the mix. Uh, 50 for 60 is not a bad power to energy ratio. And then burning him out to get started strong on the next turn is not bad at all. I'm going to play the calculus to get the plus 5 per turn. But also because it's at 0 now. So... It's a free play. No, not a lot of reason to keep it in my hand. So we got the round win. Like I said, it, with a ramp up PPT, uh, he burnt me for 20, but neither of those cards had much benefit to him in the first place as far as their power when they're actually played. 
Uh, we'll throw Peter Paul in there. So it seems like the bots get random decks every time, too. Last time I played Judy Jetson, she was definitely playing Scorpion Fish and um, Cobra and a lot of the cards to burn my energy. I guess I just assumed a bot's gender and that's bad, but shame on me. So yeah, the rest of this round, I mean, I've ramped up enough energy. Once you ramped up over 100 per round... Against the bot, you definitely got it. Against a person, they've is if you can win win round one or two with a power per turn deck, you're probably looking at a victory unless you're maybe playing Astros or Paleo. They've got a chance against you. But those last two rounds are probably gonna go your way if you made your deck correctly. Uh, round three usually is gonna go your way, like I said. Uh if you lose round one or two, you're mm -hmm. still in it. If, uh, if, uh, sorry about the notifications, you guys, I'll remember next time. And, and it's definitely possible to sweep. I feel like people are playing PPT and expecting to lose early rounds, but if you plan your deck correctly, you can get those early swings in with your unicorn or your Atlantis or whatever happens to be your favorite big, um, big swinger uh, i was thinking about maybe tomorrow the next day throwing together instead of doing my big swinging mythics um cards more people have like the ankylosaurus and, and and showing you guys how you can burn other people out where you're doing the ppt too um because when a, a lot of the cards that ne that give your opponents negative power are low power themselves but if they're you know equipped with ppt cards they can definitely help you win rounds just like the mythics that i'm playing the big swingers that i'm playing do um the hand of god nebula already does it a lot for me so when i do this refigured deck you'll probably see the uh emerald boa You'll probably see my koala bear. You'll probably see the Azorus. That, that I can never pronounce that one. You guys don't be too harsh on me for that. And, and Ankylosaur. And that might even be the better way to run this deck this week. Because you've got the herbivores. Those are very strong plays this week. Um, so I know it was just a bot. I'm not getting a lot of notifications right now, guys, but I think that kind of went over why I made some of the changes to that deck, the changes I made to the deck I showed you guys before, and I think it's just operating at a better capacity, a, a higher level. Like I said, I, I, I'm seeing guys and girls and others on the Discord saying that, you know, they're PPT, they're, they're worried about when to play their red diamond they're worried about the rounds they're going to lose early and if you you know plan with some big swingers i think you can win those early rounds and if you don't have the big swingers in your collection there's some very available cards that nerf your your opponent's uh monsters meaning that it takes some of their power away and I'm, I'm going to show you guys some of that later this week. Uh, because they're more available than some of the Mythics that I'm running right now. I've been very lucky with Mythics. Uh, people on the Discord have been pulling and pulling and haven't pulled any Mythics. And I've got many Mythics. I've even got some in trades and stupidly traded them away. And traded Mythics away and then pulled them again two packs later to save my life um lakia <laughs> so uh i've been very lucky with my mythic pulls and i'm thankful for that but i do want to show you guys 
some opportunities to uh, some of the more widely available cards that are easier to play, easier to get a hold of, so you guys can get your decks up and running. I probably could have played against that person with this deck, but the videos kind of run a little long anyway, so appreciate you guys coming by again. Namaste. Keep playing. Keep sharing. Tell your friends. I really want to see people in this app. It's great. I've been playing card games since I learned how to play Pokemon when I was 8 and Magic the Gathering when I was 11. It's really a wonderful card game with something for starting players and veterans. So so tell your friends. If you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! with them, if you ever played Magic with them, be annoying about it. I'm annoying about it. I'm annoying to my brother because he's still not doesn't play consistently and he's an idiot. But be annoying if you have to. Get people on this app. Y'all have a nice evening.